Hey everyone, this is Angie from Apex Gaming with a brand new video for Metroid Dread. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can parry any of the deadly attacks from Emmy when you get ambushed, but most importantly, I'll tell you why you shouldn't be trying to parry at all in the first place. Whenever you fail to keep some reasonable distance from Emmy and make even the slightest contact, there will be one of four different animations that can trigger where you will see the mighty robot trying to kill Samus. Two animations if attacked from the left side and two from the right side. Each of these four cutscenes allows you to press the melee button to counter in two different opportunities. One when Emmy tries to grab you with its claws and one final chance as it opens its head to make the final stab. Each time you will see this glow and a weird sound that indicates the parry window is active. That is when you press the button. The problem with this window is that it's extremely short. If you do it slightly before or after, Samus will fail to counter and the next opportunity will trigger. If you fail again, you are done. So your best option is to recognize certain patterns in the animation to try to time your bottom press just when the animation is about to trigger. During the first phase of any attack animation, the correct time to press the parry button is slightly after Emmy has prepared its claws to attack, not when they are rising. Now for the second phase, press the parry button just as Amy has opened its head or slightly after. But I hear you saying, hey, wait a minute, why there are two parry windows for the second phase? And this is where the complete disappointment begins, my friends, because if you've ever played a Souls game or basically any action game, you know that those character animations usually have a fixed amount of frames, so you can rely on learning the animation, recognizing a particular frame when you can press your button and then you are done. As long as you press it in the exact moment, you will always dodge or parry flawlessly. But in Metroid Dread, you don't. Why? Well, uh, because Nintendo is doing things the Nintendo way. If we compare them side by side, we can see that even on a frame by frame basis, these animations can trigger in completely different moments, making the parry action basically impossible unless you have Daigo Mehara reflexes. And this is not the case for just one animation, because remember we have four different ones, two on one side and two on the other. It happens on each of them. And this is why I mentioned at the beginning of the video that you shouldn't parry at all, because even when it is a matter of skill, you can't rely so blindly on a set amount of frames, because the difference is sometimes insane. So, in a nutshell, don't parry and just use the damn cloak.